I'll open by saying um, congratulations to Minnesota. I, I thought they, I thought they played awful well. And and honestly, in in my assessment, uh, what, for whatever that means, um, I, I feel like they're the best team in the WNBA, uh, certainly on film. And then after seeing them up close and personal, um, I just think that they're a, a very quality team. And and uh, congratulations to them. Russ, how effective were they on taking you guys out of this one? You know, I, I, I honestly didn't feel like they took us out of tons of stuff. I thought what we did, we settled for the easy things. Um, and, and, again, maybe that's their defense doing it. But, you know, we didn't have any problem moving the ball. We didn't have any problem getting it to our spots. Uh, we shot the ball incredibly poor. But I think a lot of that was uh, we took ill-advised shots. And then when they helped, uh, we just didn't find the open open player. And that was kind of the theme all night was make the extra pass. and. And I felt like we tried really, really hard. I just didn't think that we played real smart all the time. And, and uh, certainly they had, had something to do with that. Uh, I've, learned, uh, um, I've learned a couple things. Uh, n number one, the, the quality of play. Uh, at this level is incredible, you know, and you watch it as a fan on television. Um, I don't know that you you get the um, You know you can get the full effect until you s Sit there on the sideline watching going up and down. I mean you, you watch people like Diana Tarazi and Maya Moore and Simone Augustus the, the way they come off screens with ease and knock shots down and and they're the best at their you know at their craft in the world and um and then the other thing I probably learned from, from coaching this particular team is that just the quality of people. Uh, it, it, was a, it was a lot of fun just being around this group because they came to work every day with a smile on their face and a, and a work ethic. And, and uh, it, was, it was truly about team. And as a basketball purist, that's what you love. You love people that love the game. And, uh, and, and so that was a lot of fun. That made this experience outstanding. With this being the final game of the season from your first game to today, how far along has this group come along in general and defensively under your tutelage? You know, I, I think we improved. Um, I, I, I do. I don't know how to measure that exactly. I know there, there were some numbers on it there for a while that you know we were holding people less than before. But, you know, I think it's, uh, when you emphasize something and you have the ability to do it, you ought to get better at it. Um, but but I, I'm, I'm proud of where we, we came from, especially, you know, I had the job. 24 hours before a game. And so that first game against Tulsa was nothing more than me standing on the sideline asking uh, Julie, you know, what's everybody's name? I didn't even know everybody's name yet. I'd call them by their school. That's a Tennessee. Come on, let's go. Get in there. And uh, so I, I think we grew together pretty pretty quickly, and, and I was really, really happy the way that they, they came together and tried to do what we asked them to do.